Hi guys and welcome to another Elementor video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignerTechTips.com. Well we've been sort of doing these hover effects with the free version of Elementor here. And a lot of them are really easy to do and they're pretty effective. Now the one we're going to do today is not that one, this one. Basically we've got an image when we hover over it it's going to come up with some text and a link and an inset border there. So let's get started. I've got the page open here already and what we've got here is three columns I'm just using a center one as a separator and our column background dark little icon there has the image in it and when we hover over it we've got a text module inside here for our text and border so let's put the text module in first now I'm just using a text editor module right here just drag it over and release I'll leave the default lorem ipsum in there dummy text and just put a bit of title in whatever you want to say and let's make that a heading two and if you watch the last video you know what I'm going to do next I'm going to put a link in and to add, make it into a link like any other WordPress text module let's select it hit the little link icon put in the link that you want to put in there again I'll just grab a page from my site here now if you're going to the same site you want it to open in the same tab if you're going to an external site you want to keep your site open so hit the little cog and choose open in new tab I don't because it's on my new site so I just hit the little arrow to apply and there we are and the reason you can't see it is because my links are white for this particular theme but it is actually there right great let's go over to our style now I want to align everything to the center and let's see when it comes in I want to give it a colored background so let's go to our advanced down to background and I'll choose a regular color you can put a gradient in if you want just put your color in here or you can put an image in if you want and I used purple last time let's use a different color just for fun some kind of green perhaps that's fine and my text color let's go back to style let's make that white so it all stands out obviously you make yours whatever color you like great now let's give it a bit of breathing room with some padding so over on the advanced tab I'm going to get 50 all around give it 50 pixels all around you can use M's or percentage or rems if you want to if you've got this little chain highlighted there like it is it'll do all four at once for you good and I'll add a little bit more perhaps to the bottom just so it's more in line with this one right here so let's uncheck that and on the bottom let's try 90 it's a more top and bottom perhaps make that 70 whatever works for you you can increment it slightly with those little arrows there I'll just get it in line with that one next door that's fine one less than that I think okay that's good so we've got our green color on the background there now what we want to do is go into our column and put this chaps image in there or whatever images you want to put in there so let's go into our column we'll go to style background type you've got color gradient 
or image with this also. So let's just add fellas picture. Well, let's add a different chat for this one. Now you won't see it because our colors on top there. That's fine. Now when we hover over it, I don't want the image in there. I'm actually going to give it the same color of this because we're going to give this a border and inset it. So if I do that now, you'll see that background image appear before we do the hover effect. So let's go over to advanced. What I'm going to do is give it padding all round of, let's say 25. Obviously you make yours how you want. So there's our text right there. And I'm going to have a border around it. But I don't want to see that image. I want it to appear that it's the green goes up to the top there. So while we're on our image, let's grab the color that we gave it, the background color. Make sure we're on the right widget. A little blue one for the text one there. I was in the column. Over to advanced and background. Let's just copy this hex code. Click on the color. There it is right there. Select it, copy it. Okay, now we can go back into our column. And when we hover on it, we're going to want to give it the same background color. So just click on the color there and paste in the hex code. Now you see when I hover over it, it fills out that green, which is great. So we're good. We're good with the background there. So all we need to do is create a border here. And we're going to have to use a bit of CSS to make this all work today. But don't worry about that because I'll put any that I write today below the video. So go back in here to our module. We can go down to border. We're on the advanced tab, down to border. And border type, I want a solid border. Let's make it say four pixels. Obviously you make yours whatever shape you want. There you can see it, four pixels. I hover over, that's a bit more defined there. That's fine. Right, to make this all work today, we need to give our module a CSS class. So while we're on the advanced, just expand the advanced arrow there. CSS ID, CSS classes. This is where we'll do it. I'm going to say GRNHV for green hover. You call yours whatever you want as long as it makes sense to you. Now, let's copy that. Control C. Update our page changes. Now, with the pro version, you've got a custom CSS box down here. You can do it right here. But we're using the free version, which means you've got to go to your theme customizer. To get your theme customizer, I'll just close that up. Dashboard, appearance, and customize. And as far as I know, all WordPress themes have this. And once your customizer loads, down at the bottom you'll find additional CSS. We're using the generic 2020 theme here, by the way. Um, like I say, most have it, additional CSS. Some will call it custom CSS, but there will be somewhere on your site to put it. Once you open it up, you'll see previous CSS I've written here. And let's go down and have a look. Okay, there's our little fella right there. Now what we want to do is have this totally invisible when we're not hovering over it. So we gave it that class. Let's give it a title, that way it's easier to find if anybody else is in there editing. In between the two stars of forward slash star star forward slash, put in your title. Anything written in there will not be read as code. Okay, now we copied that class name. As it's a class, we need to put a period or a dot in front of it. So it's dot and paste the class name. There it is. Anybody that's seen my last video knows exactly what I'm going to do. 
In fact, it's just built down below here. Okay, what do we want it to do? We want it to be invisible at first, so it's opacity, colon, zero. And he's gone, and our little fella's in there. Great. And we'll copy this. Control C, drop down a couple. And we'll set the hover state. Now, just after the last V of green hover there, we need to put a colon. No space after the V, colon. And then no space again, and the word hover, H O V E R. Which will tell it when we hover over it, what do we want to happen? Well, we want it to be fully visible. There we go, as you can see, it's back. Now, how long do we want it to take between invisible and visible? I like to give it quite a bit of time just for drama. And it looks like our background, this right here, and our text module are fading in at different rates there. We'll try and get it common. So. I'm going to have mine about a second and a half. So I'm going to say transition duration. One point five seconds, semicolon. That should do it. Let's publish that. Now we know this is one point five seconds. So let's make sure our background, that bit, is going to fade in the same time period. There we go. Let's go back to the page. We want to go into the background green right there. Into our column. Hover state. And you'll notice it's got transition duration right here on our hover state. So it's 300 milliseconds right there. Let's take it up to about 1.5. So it should be coming in at the same rate as our green on the top here. Let's update. Save our changes. View the page. Go on down to where we worked. And there's our little fella there. Could have probably used a sharper image than that, but that's okay. And there we go. Both sets of green are fading in at the same rate. We've got a link there. Takes us to a sign in page or our about. So there you have it. There's an image to text with border and a link on a hover. And that's a nice little effect to have on your site. People are mousing around your site, going to come over that. It's going to make them look at that. So I hope you've enjoyed that and found it useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, ring the bell, comment, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Once again, this has been Jamie with System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.